See this fall here, right? Yeah. When you're, I'm asking you guys to bend your knees back. You could definitely hurt your knees really bad this way because you don't, yeah. you won't, you won't have your feet anymore. Yeah. So be mindful. That's probably the most likely fall. Falling back, you're gonna fall back onto the shins, but falling forward, you're gonna fall on your knees. Okay. Just how about me up? I'll help you demonstrate how to think about the techniques to do the same. Okay. So we're going from well. Most people like well with the toes toward the lower back this way because it really allows the fly to really drape over. If your feet are a little up here. It would be more comfortable for someone with a little, for the low, less flexible back if you go a little higher. But it makes it a little harder for you to balance because now more weight's into the hands. If you put the feet a little lower, if your fly is a little more flexible, this keeps more of the weight into the legs. It's less on your hands here. So this is the point B position. I want you to go here. This is where we want to go towards, okay? So let's see how we did that. So from well, what I did was I'm going to tap her on one hand. Let's say I'm going to tap her on this hand. That means put all your weight onto this leg, please. That way she can just lift that now, right? So she put it, she's putting all the weight on this side. I slowly take my hand from her calf, and then I help bend it. So I'm just pulling it down, bending it, and then walking it from the calf towards the hands here. And same on this side. Now that I'm taking this hand away, she needs to shift her weight into this leg. I take it from the calf, walk it over here. And then I just slowly take her calves and I bring them back toward my knees here, like that. Okay? Um, come on, will you hand me that, please? And so if I can just keep my hands off and then she can perch them against the shin. So let's base cam, you see? Again, for, for bases, Matt, I want you to lay down right here, please. It gives you a better view of an understanding of what's going on. So come down here, lay down. Called base camming. Lay down and viewing from here. Okay, from here, watch the hands. We're here. Uh -huh. She puts all the weight into one hand. I tap. Uh -huh. So that means now I can easily shift right. this hand, right? All right, from there, I walk it there, I fold it. Now I'm tapping here. She's going to put all the weight on this hand. Uh -huh. I freeze my hand. I can keep my hand, but I can slowly walk it over. Put it in front of the shins. Watch my fingers. I do yeah. this. Helps guide back and forth. Remember, gotcha. she could fall forward really easily this way. Yeah. So if she does, you want to drop your feet right away, okay? okay? So bring it back here, then you can slowly bend your knee a bit and put it on her knees here. Okay. If you aren't able to straighten your leg, that's fine because eventually the position I want to get is with the low bent knee anyway. Here. Gotcha. If you do feel like you're falling this way, you've got to bend your feet right away and have her fall on oh. you. Yeah. Much safer than falling on her knees like gotcha. that, okay? So have her just bend your feet right away. She's like a